Welcome back to Physics 3740 at the University of Utah, Introduction to Relativity and Quantum Mechanics. This is Lecture 7, the Lorentz Transformation. Okay, so before we, discard, before we um, discuss the Lorentz Transformation, let's start by having a discussion about um, so-called the invariant interval, or sometimes just called the interval. Okay. Um, in in uh, in special relativity, and first let's think about um, the situation in just normal three dimensional that is Euclidean space. Um, let's imagine that we have a point uh, in space, and uh, we have two different coordinate systems. So, for example, you might have one like this. Okay, x, y, and z. And let's imagine again that we have a point here. Let's call it P1. And um, that that point has, of course, in in uh, in coordinate, I mean in uh, frame S, it has coordinate values um, x, y, x. Actually, let's. Um, Uh, x1, y1, and z1. Okay. Um, but now, if we draw a, a second coordinate system, mm. okay. Let's imagine now that this one is rotated, and I'm, you know, not going to rotate it in just drawing it in some arbitrary way. So imagine that this is x prime, y prime, z prime, okay? So now it's rotated in some arbitrary way, and this same point, P1, will have um, different, generally different uh, coordinate values, okay? Now if we have another point, P2, okay, then again, Y2, Z2, and X2 prime, Y2 prime, Z2 prime. Okay, so the point here is just that uh, in sort of normal three-dimensional space, different um, different points will have different coordinate values and different coordinate systems, okay, but um, but the difference in coordinate values, that is the distance between them, is um, is the say is conserved, okay? So in other words, uh, delta r, let's just square it, which is equal to delta x squared plus delta y squared plus delta z squared is equal to, oops, sorry, delta x prime squared plus delta y prime squared plus delta z prime squared. Okay, so the difference, um, the, 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 uh, the length between P1 and P2, if you drew a vector or something between those two points, the length of that vector is the same in both coordinate systems. So even though the coordinates themselves, the points themselves have different coordinate values, the distance between them is conserved. And so we want to basically find out whether there is a similar interval with in, in, in special relativity where we have a time to take into account as well. 